Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the products that I dedicated my face to in December, as well as the products that I'm going to be dedicating my face to in January. If you are new here, every month I pick a maximum of four products to feature. So any tutorial that you see here on my channel or tutorials on my Instagram, TikTok, is going to be featuring these products. This way at the end of the month, you kind of have like an encyclopedia of different ways which I use these products in case you do decide to purchase them or you own them and you're not sure how to use them or you know you just want to learn how to play with the makeup that you currently have. It doesn't necessarily need to be the makeup that I'm featuring. I'm just kind of showing you guys how I test and try and play with products in order to come up with the conclusion as to whether they're good enough, at least for me or not. So if you are a makeup lover, a skincare junkie, a self love kind of gal. I think you and I will really get along, so be sure to subscribe and click that bell next to it. This way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a new video here on my channel. And if you've gone ahead and done just that, then let's go ahead and hop right into the video. December products. I have to say, I have to say, I was a big fan. First and foremost, let's talk about this Guerlain L'Essentiel foundation. I am in the shade 01N, N meaning neutral. I have a neutral undertone and I love this foundation. Beautiful when applied with a sponge, with a brush, and I love when a foundation is versatile like that because some days I just, I don't feel like wetting a sponge. I don't feel like using one. I feel like just picking up a brush and going. And some days I want to use a sponge. And if you are a foundation that I can use either one it takes a lot of guesswork out of it. And the quicker I can get my makeup done, the more quickly I can get through my routine, the better in my opinion. I got a lot to do, a lot of people to see, a lot of places to be. Want to wait until the more human months to try this again, because I'm thinking this is gonna be my foundation for Mike and I, our wedding reception next September, just because this is like the kind of foundation that does look good in real life, but like looks so good in videos and in photos takes up the light so beautifully and makes you look super youthful so good it does have a scent to it so this is a foundation that i don't use every day this is more of a weekend foundation for me kind of like sitting down want to do the whole shebang like contour bronzer, blush. That's how I use it. However, you can use this on lighter makeup days. It just, the fragrance can be a little bit too much for me on a day-to-day -day basis. So if you're someone that has sensitive skin, I could wear this like a good three to four days. I just wouldn't do it back to back. And also if you're someone that has oily skin, I don't think you will like this. It's a little bit thicker of a foundation, which might lead to it moving around a little bit if you're someone that has a slippery texture of skin than I do. Like uh, we're talking my skin, Sahara Desert, so I can afford a little bit of a slip, but if you already have slip, I don't think you're gonna like this foundation. I think the sunscreen also might be why it's a little bit more slippery of a foundation. But you know, if you're someone that has a lot of weddings coming up or just you're gonna be in a lot of photos and videos. If you're someone that does social media for a living or like a side hustle, I would definitely recommend getting this because your skin will look flawless. Let's just talk about these really quick because I don't even need to talk about them a lot. The Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencils. One of them I gave to my sister-in-law to try as a lip liner and I never got it back. So that one's my favorite. That one's Rever Walnut. That one I probably use the most in terms of a lip liner. These are pencils that you can use anywhere. Lip liner, eyeliner, if you want to draw freckles, anything up and down tan, which is kind of like a mauve almost like purpley, brownish, peachy tone. It's so good. It's really beautiful, really feminine. I love it as a lip liner. I'm not wearing it today, but hey, let's just throw some on. It's such a good, oh, it's so good. For the month of December, I have to say I really enjoyed using this one, up and down tan, as eyeliner. It just, it kind of translates differently how you apply it. So if you apply it a few times around your lips as a lip liner, it definitely gives that like sexy kind of mauve nude lip liner vibe, which I love. It's a great shade for me. But if you apply it to the lid 
and then you like blend it out with a brush. You guys have seen that again, showing you guys the various ways that I've used this on my social media. But if you blend it with like an angled brush as a liner, it kind of turns a little bit more pink. And then in other lighting, it's a little bit more brown. So I just love this color. Versatile Chestnut. This is like the lip liner that I use all the time when I wear a red lipstick. I use this as a lip liner to go around it. it gives beautiful depth, really makes your lips pop. This is a really good eyeliner. Like just a good staple, like true brown eyeliner so good and again just like the tones are so good like the undertones beautiful i also own a blue one i think it's called like blue anyway i didn't really feature that because i just wasn't feeling blue vibes this past month maybe i will use that shade as a dedicated product in the warmer months when i feel more colorful because it's dreary it's dry it's drab it's the winter i hate it and so i just i feel most comfortable and like i feel like neutral kind of makeup looks just always are like welcoming they kind of just like you know Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood contour wand okay I like this okay I would buy this again however just no this is not like a one two three easy kind of product if you don't blend it out nicely you can take away anything that is laying underneath it it depends on what you're pairing it with I kind of got lost in the beauty blender skin tint but I was going for a more natural kind of vibe so it's not a big deal I think that these two pair a lot better together be mindful of when you're blending don't sweep this out when you're blending it pat it out so whether it's with a sponge or a brush dot this on your cheek and then pat it in and you're just going to get a much more beautiful blend that isn't disruptive to any of the makeup underneath the most redeeming quality of this and what really i think has gotten me to the place of me liking it is two things here one, I really like this to contour my nose. I will literally put like a little circle in the center of my nose because if you look on the side, my nose has a bump. So I'll put a little bit of the contour wand on the actual bump, blend it out really gently. It kind of brings that bump back and gives me a little bit of like a faux makeup nose job. So I learned that about this this month, which this is why I love picking products to use for the whole month because I feel like it just gives me more time to dedicate to the product and figure out again the best ways to use this. And I never use that this way. And the second thing that redeemed it, but you need to know if you have this product or want to buy it, is that this dries down really fast. And if you wait too long and then go to blend it out, like I dot my face with this. If you leave it on for too long without blending, you're not going to be able to get the remnants of where you first went in with. So this dries down really fast. Do one half of your face, blend it out. Other half of your face, blend it out. That's how you will get along with this product. The star of December, and I need a drink because I feel like I'm going to have a lot to say about this product sculpting and contouring number one palette the powders are like a dream they blend like a dream they're they don't fight they don't fuss if you put too much on you can just continue to blend and it, they will blend out beautifully it's just this is a foolproof palette in and of itself this will look great on you no matter what complexion you are because the undertones in this are just so good and the shades are varying so a couple ways how i use this palette dice is probably my most used shade this is like my true contour shade i will use this on a flat brush and contour the sides of my nose as well as go over that bump in the middle of my nose after adding the hollywood contour wand i will also take this on a big fan brush and just chisel out my cheeks using this as a true contour. I also use this to fill in my brows. This is just like, if I could only pick one shade out of this entire thing, I would have to pick Diced, but also hashtag shade is a beautiful shade, no pun intended. This is like a brownish red tone, really great for chopping the jawline and again i told you guys how when you solve one issue with your face i don't know if i said it in this video i filmed quite a few videos today but i've said this many a times in the past once you solve an issue that you have with yourself i feel like naturally you just move on to the next issue so wrinkles was a big thing for me solved the wrinkle issue with really great clean beauty products and then i moved on to the sagging of my face which then i discovered the new face device love that it has lifted my face i feel like five years younger with this after solving the sagging of my face i was like oh she's getting a little gobble gobble here and i'm not being critical i'm just saying like when you are someone that looks at yourself on video all day long not only am i sitting here looking at myself on this monitor screen but like i edit hours of footage on a day-to-day -day basis of myself sitting here so 
I have things that I would like to solve. And since I'm a makeup artist and I have these things at my disposal, why not solve my issues and make myself feel better? That's how I think of it. I don't know. Is it healthy? I have no idea. But hashtag shade right here has really gotten rid of this. It creates like such a shadow that you don't, it's any double chin, any kind of sag down here, gone, erased with this red shade. I do dip into frame and slice together and I will use these two shades to bronze my face. Carve, I really like as a, what is this? A crease shade for eyeshadow, really beautiful. Snatched, if I wanna go in a little heavier with the contouring, I will keep this to like the very back of my cheekbone to just really hollow that out. Really great palette, really great, highly recommend it. Let's move on to my January products. These are the beauty products I'm going to be painting my face with all throughout January. So again, if you would like to follow along, follow along my socials and you will see me using these products for the next four weeks. I bought a couple of these as gifts for people and I bought myself one. These are the Laura Mercier Shimmer and Glow Caviar Stick Trios. I just can never, I can never really get on the cream eyeshadow wagon and I uploaded a cream eyeshadow video quite a few months ago and you guys loved it and you asked me to do more but it's just, I just don't gravitate towards them. I've always loved powders. I've laughed about it throughout the four years that I've, is it four or five years that I've been on YouTube now? I don't know, it feels like a lifetime, but I'm a powder gal. I love pressed powders. I love setting powders. I just love a good powder. A good powder can really make all the difference. So I like a powder eyeshadow, naturally. Copper, I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand. Look at that, look at that. Okay, so this is copper, oh my God. Cocoa, oh my God, look at how pigmented that is. Just like a really beautiful dark brown. Oh, the smoky eye I could create with this. I'm so excited. Oh, this is really pretty. I love me like a cool toned moment. I really, really do. Amethyst. Like, oh my God, look at these three. Copper, cocoa, and amethyst. Just upon like initial swatching, that's the first time I've swatched them on anything. These are so effing creamy and they look really, really blendable. So I'm very, very excited to test these out this month. These were a really great deal. I think I got all three of these for $29, which is a steal because these caviar sticks alone, I think one is like 30 bucks. So you can try three for like $28, three for the price of one. So good, such a good deal. Okay, other things that I want to dabble more into this month, the Dose of Colors. I received this concealer in the mail. I never really got around to trying it. This is in the shade Light Medium. I feel like this might be a little bit too dark for underneath my eyes, but guys, I'm on the hunt for a good concealer. All of my concealers suck. The only one that I will even let grace my face right now is my Shiseido one. And the only way you can apply that one is with a sponge. So you guys know, based on what I said before, like days where I want to use a brush, I get pissed off at that concealer. She thick. And I feel like it'll be a really nice foundation for me. Cause I feel like this is too dark and golden of an under the eye concealer. But we shall see, we're gonna find out, stay tuned. I'm also gonna use this Lovecraft Beauty bronzing palette. It has three different bronzers in it. This was my jet in 2019 and then COVID hit and I just have not picked this up since. But these are really good tones for me and I feel like they look really beautiful with my shirt. So yeah, we are going to test this, try this again. I'm really, I'm just curious to see if I will love this as much as I loved it. All right, and then I'm just gonna throw this in the mix, guys. I did a full day wear test on this. I will link the video up here. So this is a pretty good review. I still feel the same way about this foundation that I felt in the video up here as well as now down below. And I'll put it at the end of this video as well, but oh my God. The Beauty Blender Bounce Skin Tint. I'm the shade light three. I'm wearing this today. This has just like literally been my go-to foundation since filming that video, just because it's so lightweight. It's so comfortable. It's definitely not full coverage. It's definitely light to can be medium, but it's so comfortable on my face. My skin is really dry in the winter, like I've mentioned so many times, and this kind of just nourishes it and doesn't bother it. Like you can still see the texture, but it doesn't feel heavy on the skin. And sometimes when my skin is really dry and irritated, it feels itchy and like foundation and products will bother it. But so far in the last two weeks that I've been using this, I haven't had a problem. So I just want to continue 
continue to use this. Also, quick side note, I did mention the number seven skincare products in my last video and told you guys that I would give you a review. I really like them, but I cannot use them more than twice a week because they really do irritate my skin. And I hate saying that, but I just, I feel like the results are great. It definitely does diminish fine lines, but I feel like the cream, the nighttime cream is a little too heavy. The daytime cream is a little too heavy for my skin too. And I did really enjoy the products when I first sat down and talked to you about them. I will still continue to use them but I have to say none of them have like made it into my holy grail spot yet however my skin is adjusting my skin is very finicky especially this time of the year so I will definitely continue to use those products and any updates that I have I will let you know because as you guys know from watching my channel I change my mind a lot due to hormones due to the time of year due to just changes in my body so I will keep you guys posted as I always do. That's it guys. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Make sure that you follow me along on my socials to see the January products in action. I had a wonderful time as always. Subscribe, ring the bell, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.